Hey everyone, welcome back. So today is a really exciting video. I've been waiting for this for weeks. It is my Lisa Aldridge lip kit video. So um, if you don't know who Lisa is, I feel like she needs no introduction, but she is an iconic makeup artist. She has been in the industry for many years. She has done the makeup for every uh, magazine cover you can think of, every celebrity, um, every brand. Um, she is currently the creative director of Lancome and in 2018 she launched her own brand with the um, True Velvet lipsticks and I'm so excited because she's actually launched these lip kits and for the first time she has released lip pencils and lip glosses. So the one I've got on today is Velvet Blush. So I've got the lip pencil, the lipstick and the lip gloss and I love them. So I'm going to go through the um, range that I have. I'm going to do um, swatches and comparison swatches and close-ups of all of the shades and I'll also be doing lip swatches as well. So I'm just going to jump straight into things because I've got quite a bit to go through. Um, this is the Velvet Blush Lip Kit, so the one that I've got on my lips and this comes in this beautiful velvet pouch. Um, Lisa just has the most incredible eye for color and detail. It's got her little um, monogram on there as well. And this was designed by a friend of hers. And in the kit, you get the lip pencil, the lip gloss, and the lip steps. These are the new Gloss Embrace lip glosses. And these are supposed to be like a treatment and a lip gloss hybrid, which is absolutely the truth they feel so nourishing on the lips i wore one all day today and it just felt so creamy and comfortable even after the color wore away i wasn't left with that really like tacky feeling on the lips like my lips still felt like i had been wearing a really hydrating balm they still felt really soft and hydrated um the color stayed really nice and weared off evenly um it didn't bleed at all um i was really impressed because i'm not the biggest lip gloss fan usually so there's a lot of um fatty like butters and oils in these products she's got some wild mango seed oil some acai berry oil and some vitamins i think it is a c and e um so super nourishing on the lips they are 100 percent fragranced and perfume free as well as being vegan and cruelty free and they retail for 18 pounds and these are the new lip pencils as well. Now, unfortunately, these are only available to purchase in the Fantasy Floral Lip Kits. They are not available on their own, but she says it may come later on. Um, these are the Enhance and Define Lip Pencils. So they are a gel-based pencil that is 100% waterproof and smudge-proof. Um, they just glide on the lips perfectly. There's no pulling or tugging. They're not patchy at all. And they do set um, one to two shades darker. These also contain jojoba oil so they're very soft and smooth on the lips and finally the iconic true velvet lipsticks so this is a revolutionary matte formula with intense color saturation um, they're very velvety and creamy on the lips um, but they do have a slight sheen it's not a flat matte the packaging is beautiful it's this really kind of soft matte gold um, it's incredible because it doesn't leave any fingerprints or anything so it always looks nice in the collection they feel really weighted and they have this magnetic closure that click is so satisfying <laughs> So this shade that I've got on is Velvet Blush, which is one of the new colors in Lisa's range. Um, she does like to use this one as a stain, but I decided to go all out um, and I love how it looks. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. And this is the Velvet Ribbon Lip Kit. I love this color. It's just that classic red that suits everybody. It's quite neutral leaning blue, not too blue based, but not too warm either. Um, I just know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this lipstick and the gloss. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of bright lip glosses. I just find I like a matte finish red lip, but I really wanted the lip kit because I wanted to try the lip pencil and I had always wanted this shade as well. So I thought I'd pick it up and I'm so glad I did. 
I wore this one today while I was working and it didn't bleed at all. Um, it didn't smudge, it wore off really evenly. So I was very happy with that. Um, I'll show you the little applicator. It's the perfect applicator because it's got a slight point. Is it going to focus? So you can see the applicator, it's got a slight point, so it really just hugs the lips so nicely and it picks up the perfect amount of product. It doesn't dispense too much product onto lips and make a real mess. And I think I forgot to mention that these lip kits retail for £63 and the True Velvet lipsticks retail for £26. When she described how she was inspired by the ancient art of Chinese lacquering, it just sucked me right in. So I picked this one up as well. There is one of the new shades that I didn't get, and that is Velvet Affair. Um, when I was looking at it on the website, I was thinking it might be a little bit too similar to, um, to Velvet Muse or fawn um, so I didn't pick it up and then I was thinking about it all night and I had FOMO so I went to order it the next morning and it was sold out so ugh, I shouldn't have um, hesitated but she says there will be a restock in the spring so that gives me a little bit of time to save up some more money and um, order the other shades that I'm missing as well but this is Velvet Dragon And this is the last of the new shades that I picked up. This is Velvet Carnival. And oh my god, I love it. This is such a fun colour. I cannot wait to pull this out during summertime. I don't have the four pink lipsticks that Lisa launched last year. She launched some at the start of last year. And at the time, I just wasn't feeling pink lipstick on me. Um, I don't know what it was. Like, I went really off it. So I didn't pick any of them up. And then, of course, immediately had regret and they've sold out. Um, but she says that she will be restocking again in the spring. So I'll be picking up those ones for sure, as well as the Go Lightly Gloss. But... I just think this is such an amazing color. The texture, the same as all the other ones I've tried. It's something I love about her range is that the formula is very consistent. Um, the only thing I found just based on swatching is that the two deeper ones, um, Jazz and Myth, are a little bit drier, but not. it's not significant at all. It's just the my, most minute difference. Um, but they just, it's so creamy on the lips. They don't bleed, I find. Um, they wear off really nicely, really evenly. You can wear them as a stain. You can wear them as a full color. They're the best lipsticks to use as a cream blush as well. Um, originally for this video, I was going to use the, all of the lipsticks as a cream blush, so you could see, but I've had a little bit of a breakout here and I don't want to irritate it anymore. So um, I thought I would just do the lip swatches today. Also, in previous years, she's had these little pre-made lip kits, um, but this year you could actually create your own. So you could add three products and get one of the bags for free. Um, so I got the deep um, navy and then also this emerald one. I have the red one from the year before. And she also had a little gift with purchase. It's these gorgeous little velvet lip stickers. I just thought they were so cute. I don't know what I will... Um, Put them on i'll save them for something <laughs> wow that application is very questionable but this is velvet morning so this is one of the original three that lisa launched alongside with of jazz and ribbon in 2018 i never picked them up when they originally launched i think I'm trying to remember why I didn't buy them when they came out. And I think it's because I just booked my engagement party and I had to lay down a massive deposit and I shouldn't have been spending money on lipstick. But I've picked them all up now. Um, I love this color. She describes this as a perfect pick-me-up. And that is so true. Whenever anyone that knows me will know that whenever I'm feeling sick or off or just not with it, um, I always wear MAC Lady Danger, which is a similar color, a really like orange-based red. And it just gives me that lift. It just really picks me up. So I definitely uh, will be reaching for this one a lot. It's certainly an Ashley color. Um, you might think it's similar to Velvet Dragon. I do, um, at the end of this video, it will show some comparison swatches and you can see the difference. But they are quite, um, the difference is quite drastic when you um, put them right next to each other. 
and this is Velvet Myth. So this is a beautiful winter shade, a nice deep berry. I'm always a bit unsure about this sort of color on me. I look at them all the time and I think they look incredible. But then when I put them on, I just, I don't know if they're a color that's really for me. And I can usually make anything work. I really like the tone of this lipstick. I think it's just a beautiful deep berry. Um, I'm interested to see how it looks on me as a stain as well. But this is one of the um, shades that she launched last year. Um, last year I picked up three of the colours, the more neutral tones. Um, but I think there's this one and then she launched Decade and Midnight. I don't have Decade or Midnight. They are darker, they're more brown. Um, I think I can give those ones a miss. I mean, knowing me, I'll probably try and complete my collection <laughs> later on and get them anyway. But um, at the moment I'm happy to just stick with these ones. And she also released a um, sweatshirt with this collection, which I kept adding it to my cart, but once converted to Australian dollars, it was like $90. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to wear it outside of my house. So I didn't commit to it, but you know, who knows what will happen once she restocks. <laughs> And last but not least of the new shades to me, this is Velvet Jazz, one of the original three that she launched. This is a very, um, yeah, deep, um, almost like brownish red, but it's just like a classic like 1930s, 1940s shade. I think this is more of an evening color. I wasn't going to do this, but I thought since I showed some of the older shades anyway, I might as well show you the three shades that I already owned. So this is Velvet Fawn. So this is the lightest um, nude shade. It's quite a yeah, beige nude. Um, it looks really strange here just with no lip pencil. Usually when I wear a color like this, I wear a darker lip pencil. So uh, it looks a bit funny here, but um, I usually do wear this with um, more of an intense kind of eye makeup. And this is Velvet Muse, so a little bit of a deeper, more rosy brown. Um, if you like MAC Velvet Teddy, this is probably a good colour for you. It's just, I, I can't imagine it looking bad on anyone. It's so flattering. And finally, Velvet Beauty. This is my favorite of all of them. I just think this is such a beautiful pink color. Um, this is probably the lipstick that I'm going to wear for my wedding. Um, I've always said that I'm going to wear MAC Please Me on my wedding day from the first day I ever tried it on. I think I was 17. I tried on MAC Please Me and I was like, that's it. I'm going to wear that for my wedding. I've always loved it ever since. But um, I think this may have slightly overtaken it. Um, I just love the way it looks. Always um, just it's such a pretty look. This one also comes in one of the lip kits with the lip gloss and the pencils. So I didn't pick it up because I already had the lipstick, but I'm very tempted to pick it up now and it's still in stock. So I don't know, maybe uh, I can uh, get someone to buy it for me for my birthday that's coming up. <laughs> Okay, my lips are destroyed, but now I'm going to cut to some close-ups of all the lipsticks uh, before they were swatched, and then some swatches, and then some comparisons, and I've also got a little voiceover um, talking about the shades, um, giving Lisa's descriptions of the shades, because I don't think I can top the descriptions that she's given for these products. Like, every description is so spot on. Like I said earlier, she's got the most incredible eye for colour and detail, so I'm going to cut to those clips now. This is Velvet Blush, a deep pink berry. Lisa describes this as a central boudoir shade with muted cool undertones. And this is the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss in the same shade. These felt very comfortable to the touch. They glided on, they didn't tug on the lips, they weren't sticky or tacky at all. My lips still felt smooth and hydrated even after the colour had worn off. And finally, the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil. And here are all three swatched together. You can see the colours correspond perfectly. And here we have Velvet Ribbon, a vibrant, universal, classic blue-red. This is one of the original colours from Lisa Aldridge's lipstick line, and it is a classic brightening red that suits everybody. I really wanted to pick up this lip kit because of the lip pencil. I find sometimes with these gel lip pencils, 
the red shades can be a bit off. They can sometimes be a bit drier and a bit patchy. So I really wanted to try this one out. As soon as I saw this lipstick, I knew I had to have it. This is Velvet Carnival. Lisa describes this as a pop art pink that wears its party girl heart on its sleeve, an acid fuchsia with attitude. Really looking forward to pulling this one out during summer. This is Velvet Dragon, a muted, burnt, soft, rusty red with warm yellow undertones. Inspired by cinnabar, a pigment used in ancient lacquering of ornaments and jewellery. This is Velvet Myth, a wildly vivid mulberry. Inspired by a vintage kimono Lisa bought on her first trip to Japan. This shade has notes of red and blue and is particularly good at brightening the face and whitening the teeth. Velvet Jazz, a muted earthy brick red inspired by 1930s red lipsticks. Incredibly glamorous. Velvet Morning, a hot and fiery bright orange red. Inspired by waking up in a tropical place and seeing orange red sky on the horizon. The ultimate pick me up shade. And that is so true. Whenever I'm not feeling my best, I always put on a bright orange red and it just gives me that lift I need to get through my day. Velvet Muse, a sensual smoky rosewood with the perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertones. This is one of the shades I picked up last year and I've loved it ever since. Velvet Fawn, a pretty and delicate beige cafe shade inspired by the classic 90s shades in Lisa's vintage makeup collection with the addition of skin lifting cool and warm undertones to make it extra fluttering. And last but certainly not least, Velvet Beauty, my absolute favourite shade. A new wave vibrant rose pink with blue tones that lend it a fresh innocence. I think this is the lipstick I'll be wearing on my wedding day. And here we have some comparison swatches. From left to right, we have Muse, Fawn, Beauty, Blush, and Myth. You can definitely see that Fawn is more rosy than Muse, and Beauty is more blue-based than Blush. On the left, we have Dragon, and on the right, we have Morning. Dragon is a deeper, more burnt red. From left to right, we have Dragon, Morning, Ribbon, Myth, and Jazz. Myth compared to Jazz is more of a berry tone, and in Ribbon, you can see that it definitely leans more neutral to blue based. So there you have it. Those were all of my swatches of all of my Lisa Aldridge lip collections. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know down below if you have picked up any of her lip products before and what you think of them. I'm very interested to know. I think there's still a few of them in stock. Um, she only does restocks about once a year, so you have to get in quick, but um, it's definitely worth it. And also let me know which color was your favorite on me. Um, that would be interesting to find out as well. I know we've all got very different preferences, but I think they're all beautiful. And I'm looking forward to picking up a couple of those shades that I've missed out on in previous launches. Like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll have a new video for you very shortly. Bye. <laughs>